So, you want to know how to separate letters and create a text animation, and I have no intro, so I'm going to keep going. Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81. Once again, taking a look at how to separate letters, and I got a lot of people asking me this, um, because you can't actually separate letters if you're using the same text object. So, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys some stuff, how I usually do it when I want to have the letters move independently of each other. So, that's what we're going to do today. All right, first things first, I'm going to hit B to box select over top of our uh, uh, default cube and our lamp, hit delete, and then we're going to select our camera and hit Alt G, Alt R to clear rotation and location, R, X, 90 on my numpad and left click to confirm that, and G, Y to move the camera back, zero to go into the camera's view. All right, so, zero on the numpad rather. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and hit Shift A and add in some text. First of all, now you can see if I use my middle, middle mouse button to pan around here, you can see that I can hit RX 90 on our numpad to rotate that 90 degrees on the X axis. So the text is now standing straight up. And we go back into our camera's view. Um, and hit Tab, you can go ahead and, and edit what this says. So you can go ahead and just make it say text or whatever. Leave it, leave it in text or make whatever. Um, but whatever the word is you're using, only type the first letter. So... What I want to do is we'll type, I'm just going to do the word text, so we might as well just do something short. I'm going to go out of edit mode by hitting tab once again, so tab, um, and then go to the font tab here and change the alignment from horizontally left to horizontal center, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up the font tab here and hit this little folder to open up my fonts folder. And once we've found a font that I want to use, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a font like um perhaps just this one foul fiend yeah sure open font we're just going to use this one for today why not so i'm going to go ahead and choose uh, and and turn down the offset turn up the offset on the turn down the offset on the y axis to make that kind of in the center so when i rotate like this then it rotates properly so it's not down here the origin uh, all right so what we need to do now is we need to kind of duplicate these letters, but before we do that, I kind of want to set up some stuff first, so we don't have to do it over and over again. Um, so I'm going to go up to Geometry and change the Extrude value uh, up just a little bit. Now, you don't have to do this. If you're doing motion graphics, then just leave it the way that it is. Doesn't You don't have to worry about it, but um, but yeah. So I'm going to do something a little bit more 3D-ish today. We've been doing a lot of motion graphics lately. Um, so we're going to do something like that, and I think I might want to even round the corners, put some, put some of that depth up just a little tiny bit, maybe 0 0.01. Whoa, that's way too much. 0 0.001. There we go. No, that was no 0 0.01. Okay, uh, it's still way too much. 0 0.001. Yeah, just that little tiny edge on there. It looks nice. Um, all right, and then I'm going to turn the resolution up to maybe just 2. 2 is fine. Uh, sure. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this now. So I'm going to ask to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to hit G to move it over, and then Shift D to duplicate that, and then hit Tab and change this letter to E. And then do the same thing again. Shift D to duplicate, move it over, left click to confirm, Tab, Delete, X, and then Shift D, and then we'll do the same thing. So, once all that's done, uh, I kind of want to go ahead and, and do a little bit of rotation. Now, they're all independent. They don't move together. So, for instance, if we were to have the same exact word down here with all of the letters together, then we can only rotate it all together. But we can rotate all of these individually now, which is nice because uh, we have a lot more freedom. So, I'm going to rotate some of these letters around, just get a nice little feel for what I want to do, which is going to be kind of spooky, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this looks kind of spooky to me. The font, anyway. Uh, maybe we'll do like a graveyard kind of thing. I can move some of them forward, some of them backwards. It's pretty cool. And then we'll kind of move this one over here maybe a little bit. Yeah, and then rotate and rotate. Double tap R is what I'm doing. Double tap R. Then R at R Y, R X, R Z, you know, and G to move them around like this. I like this. This is nice. So we can do some independent stuff like this, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we'll go ahead, and I want to actually add a little bit of animation to these. So I'll go ahead and, and hit B to box select all of these letters. Then on the frame 0, my start frame, turn that to 0, um, I will go ahead and hit I, uh, rotation. We'll hit rotate these. And then I'll just drag up from the bottom here and split my window into two and change this one to the graph editor, right? And I'm, then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click right here in this green section that says object transform and just drag down. Just drag down to all those are open, which is nice. Open this up a little bit more. And then we will, you'll have more than these if you have more than four letters. So each one of these blue things, so this one right here, 
Then, uh, oh, actually, anyway, let me do that. So all of the, the first arrows, all of these are all the text objects. So there's four of them. Now, if you open them up, then you can see all of the different uh, rotations and whatnot. So if I want to go ahead and, and select the first letter, which is the T here, and then the X rotation, I can open up this little side panel a little bit and then go to modifiers and add a modifier of noise. You can see when we play this that now there's a little bit of noise on there. Now that's too much, so I'll change the scale to 10 and maybe like 0.3, maybe 0.2 or 0.1. Yeah, 0.1 looks fine. Uh, and then uh, we can do this with all the different letters. So I'll just hit this little copy and paste so we don't have to do it over and over again. I'll copy this and then go to Y and then paste it so we don't have to do the same exact thing. Um, uh, and now you can see it's kind of moving a little bit on the Y axis now, but I don't want them to move at the same time. Like right now they're going perfectly on, on center with each other. So I'm going to turn the offset to a random number and then just have it like that so it's more random. Um, just turn it up a little bit. And then Z, do the same thing. Paste, and then maybe I'll, maybe I'll go down this time. So like that. And then we'll do all the same thing with the, with the rest of the letters. So just paste, change the offset to a random value. Paste, we can leave that one on zero. Paste random value and now you can see we have this going for uh, both of those letters now and we'll just do the same thing with all of the rest of these as well so maybe I'll go for a really high offset for this one 2000 almost so you see how we have some really really nice uh, letter independence with these so you want to go negative sometimes and go positive sometimes it doesn't matter um, just so they're not exactly on this on the same exact thing and you can also change the scale ever so slightly too, just just to get a little bit of randomization you can make it like a, a, a little bit more a little bit less but either way you can see how we have some really really cool things uh, with this but if we have this right over here you can see they all move together which is much I mean it looks good but it's not what I'm going for in the specific uh, intro so intro text whatever you're making but uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it. You can do the same thing with with locations too. So like I can hit B to box select all of these, um, and then hit uh, maybe thirty, right? Oh, maybe we'll do frame eighty, and then hit I, I, uh, location, and then on frame yeah, maybe ten, I'll move all of these down, right? And then hit I, location. But now what I want to do is I'll stagger these. So we'll select E and then hit. Uh, B to box like both of these keyframes you just made and move them up by 20 by 10 keyframes to frame 20 And do the same thing with X move these up to 30 and then move this one hit B to 40 So now they're kind of staggered. So they're gonna come up separately You can see how that works really nicely, so I really really like this effect It looks really cool. You can even do scaling with the same principle that we did earlier I kind of want to do that a little bit just real quick before this is over with so I can maybe the E and the T Oh, maybe both the T's. We'll do both the T's. Okay, cool. So both the T's will have scaling. So I'll go to the first frame, hit I, scaling, and then we have scaling uh, frames here. So I can go ahead and add th that modifier to those as well. So paste, and then just change the random offset, paste, offset, and then the same thing with here. So now you can see the scale will very slightly change. You can see it's kind of throbbing a little bit. It's kind of going up and like that. It looks pretty cool. I like that. Same thing over here, the same exact thing. But you can see how we have some really, really nice effects with this um, kind of simple amount of work. I mean, all we did was just separate letters. A lot of you guys are asking me how to separate letters, how to make them move independently, how to you know make them come up different times and stuff like that, just like that. Just stagger those keyframes, have some really, really nice stuff. I'm going to render this really quickly, and I'll be back to end this video out. All right, so I just did a couple of things here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, go back to material real quick. You can see I just pretty much added, uh, real quick, I just added a little bit of a bluish color to the text here. And then I just uh, did a couple of stuff with sheen and stuff like that. I added a point lamp back in the back here. Uh, I, well, actually, I added a, a big spotlight. It wasn't a point lamp first. I bought a big spotlight for the color in the front here, so the front is kind of lit up. And then I added a big point light back here with 10,000 watts on a purpley color right there, uh, just to give a nice little, a nice little glow to the back there. And this, uh, this material is just like just that solid thing. That's it. So, uh, so yeah, that's it, real quick. And I turned bloom on, of course, make bloom looks looks better. There we go. So that's pretty much all that I did. Hope you boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.